filtration comes in. Every single bit of toilet flush and tap, everything comes right in here and comes into this wet well right here. And then these pumps that you see here, blue is off, green is on, is what distributes it throughout the plant and determines whether it goes to trains one, two, or three, being the treatment trains. Um, and again, here you can control speed, you can control which pump you want to turn on, you're monitoring your flow, 1100 gallons per minute. We also have our totalizers here that tell us how much comes in on a 24 hour basis. Basically every piece of information that we need to properly control the plant, we have available to us via this control system a probe in train 2 and we have a probe in train 1 and this is all monitored in real time so we know constantly what our nitrates are at along with the DO as well and the bugs that work in these treatment zones basically require food and oxygen just like we do so we need to monitor and make sure they're able to breathe and convert the nutrients like we need them to Bugs are actually the bacteria that eat the BOD, which comes from people. Basically, when you use the restroom, you create a biochemical oxygen demand that goes into this treatment tanks, and the bugs actually convert that BOD and eat the solids. Okay, so here we have the clarifiers. So everything that has been treated in the Bardenfo zones ends up coming right here and the sludge blankets actually settle in these circular tanks in the very bottom and we actually monitor how deep the sludge blankets are and that indicates how effective our process is running basically the smaller blanket you have the better it is the better settling you have and then you have crystal clear water that flows over these weirs here and flows into a trough these are your RAS and WAS pumps, which is called your return activated sludge and your waste activated sludge. And this is a very essential part of the process because this determines how what you need to re return back to the process and what you need to get rid of throughout this biological process. Your bugs have a tendency like, like we do, how we age, the bugs age. They get old, so they start young, then they get old. Well, the older they get, we got to get rid of them. You know, and then we keep trying to keep the young bugs in to keep them active. But even the young bugs need help at times, so we have to return back some of the old bugs to kind of guide them back through the process. So these, that's why these pumps, your RAS pumps and your WAS pumps, return and waste pumps are buried. Uh, the wastewater process is like a human body. Whenever you intake some in your body, you have to have a, 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 a cycle that wastes, and you have to have something that keeps. You can't be dehydrated, so I can't get rid of all the water in me, but I do have to get rid of some of the water, some of the food that's in me. And I have to keep the nutrients, some, some nutrients I have to keep, some I have to get rid of. Yeah. And that's what this cycle is all about. Mm -hmm. We try to maintain of each zone of the plant. So here would be the influent. This is what comes in raw, no treatment, comes straight from the population. So as it comes into the plant in this state, it reaches a treatment zone that we've covered and then comes into the clarifier, which is what this is. This is a representation of what's happening in our clarifier. We have a sludge blanket, and then we have supernate that's mostly clear up here. And as it flows out of the clarifier, it goes through filters, and then it gets contacted with chlorine for disinfection. And then you get this product right here. Crystal clear, beautiful color. Okay, so what we have here is the chlorine contact chamber. This is basically where the finished product comes. Now, all the water starts at the very beginning up there where it gets initially hit with the chlorine or whatever disinfectant you deem appropriate for the contact chamber. Now, the reason you see these walls like this is because that creates a detention time. Now, currently with this configuration, you have about 45 minutes worth of detention time, so the chlorine has more than enough time to disinfect. And then as you go through, the water will get clearer and clearer and clearer as your detention time increases. Now as it goes into the very end, it drops into a wet well where these three pumps are connected to. And those pumps determine whether or not it goes to the ponds or it goes to the ground storage tank where it can be used as reclaim for the community. That's the finished product right there, and that makes it all worth it.